Where it's going. You just started mine. Yeah, you gotta stop it. What might look like a solid start to a routine fishing trip. All right. I'm at 45 seconds. Is actually science in action. Run it. I gotta run in time. Striped bass require cold water with high levels of dissolved oxygen. Catching striped bass during the summertime, when water temperatures are warm with less dissolved oxygen, can lead to post-release mortality. Dan Wilson, a fisheries biologist with the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, is conducting research on just this. We're here at Smith Mountain Lake, which has a very good striped bass fishery, one of the better ones in the country. And anglers like to fish for striped bass year round. That includes summer. And we know from some other studies that many waters striped bass do not survive catch and release well in the summertime with the warm temperatures. And it's been debated on this lake for a number of years how well these fish actually survive when they're being caught and then released. Anglers are curious if the abundant, deep, cool water habitat here at Smith Mountain Lake might improve catch and release success during the summer months. Given that it's such an important resource, it's enjoyed by so many people, we want to do the best we can with it. And, um, you know, we're learning that there's things we can do as fishermen to help the survivability of these fish when they're released. And, uh, and that's more about what we want to learn through some of the work that's going on now is what we can do to affect it fish by fish, how we handle our fish, the fish we need to keep, the fish that we can release. These are information we're going to get because there is a concern that these fish do not, may not do as well in the summertime when released. So we're, what we're doing out here is actually catching fish just like an angler would, we're being part of the angling public and we're giving them a tag and putting them back in the water to see if they actually survive that event or if, there's, uh, if the fish die from that event. So what metrics are Dan and his team focusing on for this study? How long it takes us to get the fish to the boat once we hook it, how deep the fish was when we hooked it, how long it takes us to process the fish so that we're recording a numerous amounts of data and information every time we catch a fish. Once we get the fish to the boat, it's brought in, we give the fish a tag, give it a quick measurement, put it back in the water, and that's when the tracking starts. These are ultrasonic transmitters, basically transmitters that send out a frequency that is picked up underwater with this hydrophone. Over multiple days, Dan and his team can track numerous fish to assess whether they live or die. Ultimately, DWR will be partnering with Coastal Carolina University on this initiative. The lead investigator or professor on this project is Dr. Derek Crane, and he will have students for the next two years out here uh, conducting this study, and we'll probably be working with them side by side on a lot of aspects of it. The results from this study will have management implications for the future of Smith Mountain Lake's striped bass fishery. It's everybody working together, you know, realizing the state's going to try to do the best they can uh, for the fishermen, and then the fishermen learning that they have a role too. They can, they can be involved in the conservation and the, the enhancing of the fishery by the things we can learn from each other. As the state learns things from us, the fishermen, and we learn things from the study, Hopefully what's going to advance the, the fishery forward for everybody's benefit.